Welcome to another awesome episode on the official AE Racing YouTube channel. And as you might have already noticed, we're at a racetrack. Yes, we're at Brands Hatch for today. After the disappointment that was Silverstone and the gearbox blowing up, trying to take out my left leg, which luckily it didn't. It's still, still there, there. It's still, still there. there. <laughs> it's not good, but it's still there. <laughs> we're here to properly test our car, just see what we can actually get out of it get more than one lap in is the main goal really. Rob's so excited about driving the car for the first time that he's already come dressed in his race suit. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's a first both of us here because neither of us have driven around Brands Hatch before. So that's going to be exciting, mostly because of that corner you can sort of see in the background, or the one you can't see shall I say, Paddock Hill Bend, which is yeah. like properly scary. That looks scary. <laughs> yeah, it looks properly scary. But we'll see how we get on. Hopefully we don't die after the first lap. Yeah, let's go test her out. Ever test session completed. They went very well. Indeed. The beast. Took it easy to start off with. A few easy laps. Try and get used to the car. The car handles really well. I mean, you can throw it into corners around like hairpins, pretty much third gear flat out, and it sticks <laughs> very well. So we are very happy with the way she was built. Oh uh, yeah. So, as you may have noticed, this is not my race suit. <laughs> And we are not sat in a race car. We were a minute ago. Yeah. Then, then it went a bit wrong. Things went wrong. But that's what, at least we got to find out this time before you know yeah. entering a race. And it probably doesn't mean we've got to change an engine in a gearbox, which is always a good yeah, thing as well. Yeah, I just think one of the fuel pumps is packed up. Yeah. So hopefully that's it. We're well, splattering and stuff, and we didn't have a spare. And we've got to travel all the way back around the M25 again, so we've we've only missed one last session, so we thought, yeah, that's no, not that bad, really. But we had a really good morning. Really good morning, in fact. Two really good sessions, didn't we? Yeah, it was awesome. And that Paddock Hill bend going around there is <laughs> just insane. That is nuts. Once you hit the bottom and then you feel the car sink in, it's just it's nuts. It's awesome. <laughs> awesome little track. We are only doing it in Indy as well, so we were yeah. only on the short circuit. We can't wait to come back and do it for proper yeah. in the race. And that thing handles around the yeah, corner. Christ. It really does. It sticks like you know the saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that one. <laughs> Brands Hatch, sad faces. <laughs> so we got the race car back in the workshop and had a look at it and it turns out we was right. It is a fueling issue and we basically worked it out pretty easy because we looked at the fuel filter, there's no fuel in there. So we was pretty confident that the low pressure fuel pump had gone kaput. 
Luckily, a nice chap called Tim Penstone Smith has recommended one that we have uh, that we've ordered. That should come pretty soon. Get that fitted, and she'll be back on the track. So once we get the fuel pump done, she should be back ready to roll. Uh, the brand's test day was still an epic day, even though we ended on a, a tiny bit of a low, to be honest. We wanted to leave a little bit early because we were coming around the M25 and that's always a nightmare. So we, we wanted to beat the traffic, we managed that. Still had time to get to the pub for a quick one. <laughs> yeah, so hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you continue to follow us because there's loads more coming. Now we've got time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Cheers.